Okay, so tell us about, there's a fan, a somewhat famous detective that was involved in this case. So Detective Somerville at some point goes from detective and police officer to defendant and convicted felon. Tell us about Somerville's role and also how he ended up in, uh, in prison himself. So detective was, uh, Detective Somerville was the lead detective in the case. And um, there's numerous opinions in the appeals court written about allegations of his coercive confessions, which were taking place in Area 4 at the time, along with a now a famous Detective Cato. Um, and he, in 1990, was caught using his police badge to lure women into a vehicle where he sexually assaulted them. And he was identified by some of the victims and had a somewhat famous standoff with the police inside his home. And then he was ultimately convicted of felonies and, um, you know, is now a felon and he was discharged from the police department. And was, it was, what was his role? In, was he the lead detective in Charles' case? Did he, was he part of the interrogation? He was. He was part of the interrogation, part of the people who used coercive physical tactics against Charles and other people on the case to get them to make statements. And, um, you know, he was an important part of why Charles got convicted. He also, incidentally, should have been an important part of why Charles was not convicted at trial. Um, but things did not go that way due to numerous injustices that happened in Charles's case.